Welcome to another episode of the Great Lakes Outdoor Project. Today we are in the Dolly South Wilderness. We're in the state of West Virginia. Was uh, quite a drive to get here. A lot of crazy twisty dirt roads, but we made it. Uh, beautiful morning so far. Probably going to get some rain a little later on tonight. But uh, hopefully it doesn't keep our spirits down and we do okay. Because it is absolutely gorgeous out here. All right, just started up the watch. We left the overlook, which was down that way, and we're gonna be starting on the trailhead here. So, as you can see, trail is pretty washed out already you know I watched uh, a few videos before I came here on uh, other people's YouTube channels and I saw that people who started out at this trailhead had a hard time at the start of it uh, staying on the trail just cuz it's so uh, I guess it's the word I'm looking for sporadic throughout this area because it looked like we were in a riverbed there for a second but we believe this is the actual trail. I guess we'll find out. We've encountered our first uh, river crossing here. As you can see, there's no pathway, but the trail is uh, right over there. All right, so Alex decided to try it with his shoes. He was successful, so I went ahead and did it. And uh, we made it across, you know, feet are dry, thank God for Cortex. And um, yeah, I had to do it twice because I had to go back and get the camera, but it was worth it. I think it'll be a nice shot. I mean, we've only gone, you know, a few miles now, but just the wide openness of this park and these trails. It's, uh, you know, pretty unique in that a lot of our trips have been to enclosed places. And, uh, you know, this is just such a drastic change, at least for the uh, videos and stuff that I've done in the past, being a lot in, uh, you know, northern New York and northern Michigan. Uh, you get a lot of the same uh, deciduous forest there but here it's uh you know quite a bit different especially with uh you know the smoky mountains in the background and alex has stopped a little caterpillar because he wants me to show you a caterpillar a little guy that's eating and there you go carrying on So we just came across another river here that we're going to have to go over. Um, looks like the rocks over here that we're supposed to be able to cross on are pretty washed out. Um, we're going to make an attempt over here, hopefully not get all wet.
All right, well, Alex thought with uh, his pack on he wasn't going to make it over, so he tried to toss the pack and then make the jump, but the pack, you know, with uh, the wet grass ended up just sliding right into the water. Uh, looks like the rain cover took the majority of the water, so his uh, blanket's not wet or anything like that. That was on the outside of the pack, which is uh, good. So probably just take the rain fly off, let it dry out, and should be all set by the end of the night. All right, to give you an idea of how much rain that we got the last couple days over here that I've been watching. So here's the trail leading up to this point. And if you look ahead of us, that's the trail. But it's basically just a little stream now. Probably just swim down it. Yeah, right. So my shoes are already wet at this point, so might as well just keep going. Okay, well we just made our turn onto trail 524. Uh, we've gone probably close to six and a half miles so far today. Uh, but that thunder we heard earlier by the river, uh, we found where it's coming from. It is uh, getting pretty dark on the horizon up ahead. So hopefully we get some distance in before that hits us. But uh, yeah, we're uh, we're gonna get it. Well, we just made this uh, elevation climb here, got on top of this hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it. But really nice and open. You know, you can see the storm coming in from over here, all the rain falling on the mountains. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up, but it looks awesome. So we're gonna hang out here, eat our lunch real quick before we start getting rained on and enjoy this view. All right, so we just cooked our food and now it's starting to rain, just a sprinkle so far, so nothing too bad but we're gonna go move into the tree line now and hopefully eat without getting uh, rained on. Thought we'd have enough time, but of course we didn't, so oh well. So I was walking back to do a camera shot and I found this guy sitting on the trail. And there he goes. A lizard. A lizard. All right, well, having now stopped twice for the rain and set up a canopy, hopefully this is the last time we'll have to do that. We only have maybe three miles left. All right, he made it over this time. This is the third one we've had to do, by the way, since we got into this uh, jungle trail, as I'm calling it. All right, so it looks like there's a waterfall right over here uh, off the trail. I didn't know this was going to be in the park, so really cool surprise. All right, morning. It's day number two here in the Dali Sods Wilderness. We got to camp last night pretty late. It was dark out, so I wasn't going to try and uh, film it, especially with the weather being as it was yesterday. I didn't want to start getting rained on. We had a break of rain, so I wanted to get the camp set up and get everything locked up. So as you can see, this is what we ended up doing. We're right by uh, Lion's Head, which if you know anything about this park, is supposed to be a pretty spectacular overlook. So we're going to dry out our shoes from yesterday. We had a pretty large river crossing. I didn't want to film it because I didn't want to lose the camera. But uh, we got to get our shoes dried out, have breakfast, and we're likely going to go hike over there and uh, take a look at that. And hopefully I'll uh, film it for you. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, so we made it here to Lion's Head. As you can see, it is uh, absolutely gorgeous out here. So I'm glad I saw some of the videos here to be able to find our way to this lookout because it's it's not on the maps for Dali Sods. It's, it's not a designated trail or anything. You have to look for the uh, off trails here to find it, but what a cool spot.
All right, so if you're watching this video and you want to know where Lion's Head is, there's a path right here just off of Trail 554. You're going to go up and do a, an incline to the east, and you'll plateau at a bunch of pine trees. And if you follow that directly south, you'll find the trail entrance to get to Lion's Head. It'll be right at this point. All right, so we just got out of Lion's Head. We're back on the main trail now, Trail 554. And I just wanted to point out, this is the entranceway to Lion's Head. You can see the rock formations here and then that steady incline going that way. So once you go up there, turn south, head all the way till pretty much the end of the plateau and you'll see an entrance there on the right hand side. All right, so we just came down the trail and we have another river crossing here. It's gonna be the first one of day two. Alex is gonna go again. Hopefully he's not gonna get wet like the last time. This one's wobbling right here. Okay. Well, that would sink my shoe anyways. All right, now I'm gonna go. Pretty cool scenery. Again, this place just uh, seems to be a really nice hike. Minus, I keep getting hit by flies, but part of it. All right, so we just left the waterfall. We uh, got the camel bags filled up and our water bottles, which was nice. So now we don't have to worry about doing that later on. Probably got about another two miles to go, but it is all uphill. So getting a little winded, but not too bad. Doesn't help that now my camel bags and water bottles are all completely full. Okay, so we're at the trail crossing now. So upper Red Creek Trail, that this direction here is the direction we have to go in the morning to uh, start heading home. Behind us, we have uh, the Blackbird Knob Trail, and I believe it crosses a river not too far down that way according to the map. So we might look for a campsite over there, but we also just saw where Alex is standing that there's a trail leading off here and it breaks off over there too. So in case those campsites behind us are taken, we want to see if there's anywhere over here that we can check out. So we're going to drop the packs on the ground for a minute and uh, go and see what we can find.
All right, just leaving the campsite now, heading back to the trail. All right, so we ran into some hikers who told us that this trail here, 526, is actually like knee deep in mud right now. So they told us to avoid it if possible. So we're gonna add a little bit to the trip and we're gonna end up going up 521 and come back across 522, which is where we started. Uh, originally the plan was to go kind of in this direction, but to avoid uh, walking in all that muck, we'll take the extra uh, mile or two to go across, so. That's the plan, let's get going. All right, we are at the last river crossing of the trip and it looks like all the rocks are exposed for once. All right, we're just coming up on the trailhead where we started. It's been three days and two nights in the Dolly Sods Wilderness. Thanks for watching the video, stay tuned. And we'll have more hikes and multi-day kayaking trips coming up ahead. Thanks for watching the Great Lakes Outdoor Project. Be safe on the trails.